Good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Virtual Coffee and Combos. My name is Pat Gilmore and I am the Program Director for the Leesburg Center for the Arts. Today on this Virtual Coffee and Combos, I come to you not only as the host, but also of the guest. I'm also trying something new, so bear with me. I am using Zoom, not new, but I'm using the screen share option to cut in and out of this little mini uh, public service seminar. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Here I go, I'm hitting the screen share. There we go. Share. Okay, so I'm off, I'm up, off on the corner. I'm sorry, the sun hasn't completely come up yet. <laughs> I'm trying to take this quiet time to get this done. Okay, so the picture that you see in front of you is my face. Um, and also with several logos, there are many, many more, but these are the ones that I used to display on my professional website. I am a wellness practitioner. I practice traditional Chinese medicine. I'm an Asian bodywork therapist. I'm a certified medical hypnotherapist, a clinical master hypnotherapist. Trust me, there are lots of little letters that go at the end of my name if I choose to do so. Um, I was in a bustling private practice for 25 years, and I am an international speaker on wellness issues. I would teach well over 100 seminars a year, that's more than two a week, and in various places up and down the Eastern Seaboard, even in Florida, although I was based out uh, just outside Boston, Massachusetts. So I am going to talk to you today about uh, emotional eating. I, I keep hearing people talk about how much weight they, they, they gain during isolation or what the word I dislike is lockdown because here in Florida, we weren't truly locked down. We did have our freedom of movement. I have friends in Spain and Italy and they were locked down. So um, regardless of that, it's not COVID weight, folks. We want to call it COVID weight. COVID had nothing to do with it. Uh, what had to do with it is our stress. Our stress levels were intense. They are still. This is something we need to be mindful of and work and deal with uh, because it will affect your health. What you're thinking about, what you're watching on TV, what you're running in your brain. And it seems like it doesn't stop running in your brain. Well, that's because you're out of balance, body, mind, and spirit. So out of all those uh, uh, modalities I just talked to you, I merged body and mind together. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? The egg or the chicken? It doesn't matter. All, it, all we know is we're all messed up and we're stressed out. Let's work with it. Asian medicine would see that there is no difference between the body and the mind. You think something, in Western terms, we think something and then we affect our body, but our body will affect our minds as well. So I'm going on to the next slide, but by the way, there's going to be a lot of video put in here, so that's cool. So give me a break. All right. <laughs> I'm giving myself a break. Oh, wow. You know what? Stressed really is dessert spelled backwards. Mm. So let's go back to when we were in isolation and even now when we're under a, a continual long-term chronic stress. Perhaps we made the wrong decisions when we did dare go out to the grocery store. It was a, a freaky time. Maybe we were ordering online and we have those impulses. So, oh, chocolate eclairs. Oh, what the heck? I'm going to hit the button on that. And that ends up in the bag. Uh, so we, we actually were not usually eating the way we were eating. We weren't going out to dinner, but we were eating at home, but we were maybe not eating um, foods that were really good for us. I'm not talking nutrition on this one, kids. This is, we're just going to talk about our stress levels and acupoints that you can use with your fingers to balance the body. So we also had the situation where if you're a gym goer, the gyms were closed. So those are starting to reopen up. We don't know if we're going down another level back to where we were. It doesn't matter. You need to uh, practice very, very safely when you're out in public very safely and uh, follow all the rules. But we were not eating properly and we were not as active as we were prior 
to March. I have a neighbor I just met. She's new. She's at the pool. She was working 40 hours a week and continues to work 40 hours a week, but she was working remotely from her home, not from her office. And she gained 10 pounds. So you would see this next screen, uh, this meme. And this meme, <laughs> I, I would never body shame a human being, but I'm okay with a giraffe. Me, as a result of isolation and Master Chef, all those cooking shows. Ah! So I think it's just because I've heard it from so many people that it's time to address what we can do about this extra pounditure and the levels of stress that we are continuing to encounter. So I'm going to hopefully do this right. I'm going to get off of this screen share. There I am. Hello. What you see in the background besides my mandalas and a lot of my medical books are things from my former office up in Massachusetts. I have this fantastic ear chart. I have, oh, I got to stretch to get him. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor. Part of my exercise for my COVID mate. Uh, this is my Ken doll. He's an acupuncture uh, dummy. I wouldn't call him a dummy. Shh, don't tell Ken he's a dummy. Um, he's pretty well put together. If you're interested more in how this all works, I'm going to show you what, what, what does work, but why it works, stay till the end of this presentation because I have a very short video it's a part of an interview I did on the radio in Buenos Aires, Argentina, uh, on um, Urbana FAM with uh, former ambassador, U.S. ambassador Alvin Adams. He had an English, don't worry, it's in English. He had an English radio show and he had me on a few times. And I explain how this, these lines, what they are, the acupuncture points, and this whole idea of chi. It's very short, so that'll be at the end of uh, this particular program. Okay, she stretched, she did. I exercised today, yeah. I'm not gonna get too serious with you. I like to keep things jovial. I think if people laugh and have fun, that they, they learn faster, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna click over to another screen share now. I'm gonna click over to one of my books, and we're gonna take a look ab uh, about a reading and what points we're going to locate before we cut into some videos. So stick with me. This is meant to be fun and educational. Okay. Screen share number two, the book. Please work, please work. Okay. There we go. It says I'm screen sharing. I tried this yesterday. This is why I'm up before dawn. It didn't work. <laughs> so cross some fingers. All right, acupressure for weight. Let me get my glasses. We're not gonna learn all these points. We're gonna learn probably four different points. We have limited time. It's just a coffee and combos. I do still give lectures. I rewrote things for the senior market when I moved down here, but then I accidentally, whoops, <laughs> stumbled on the Leesburg Center for the Arts. I have a 501C3. Uh, it's called the Pan American Whole Health Alliance. It was to bring, I mean, you don't want to talk about passion. It was to bring these techniques uh, into places where people had no shoes. I have since dissolved it. And I uh, am here at 63, not wanting to create private practice, but wanting to disseminate information where it is helpful. Okay, acupressure for weight. This is the first point that we're going to learn. It's the sea of nutritive energy. I'm going to give you just a little bit of an introduction by reading these first two paragraphs. And then we're going to cut over to a video that I produced back in nine, uh, 2013 that will give you all the background you need and a way to find it. Because I think video, moving video, is worth so many uh, more points <laughs> than, than uh, looking at uh, a book, okay. Although books are really great reference and good reading too. I love books. So how can acupressure aid you in your quest for balanced weight? Uh, there are several ways that the acupressure can help you. First and foremost, it helps you to rebalance the body. And tell me we need some rebalancing, kids. We need rebalancing. 
Excess weight is a sign and a symptom of an underlying imbalance. The system is weak. Often, when the system is weak, energies get stuck and toxins are not readily removed from the body. Acupressure can help strengthen the system, eliminate toxins, reduce hunger, and stop food cravings. It also helps you remove the dampness in the body that is stored as fat. In addition, acupressure on ear points, you have the ear chart behind me, uh, either with a fingernail, a toothpick, or constant pressure, using ear pellets, tiny magnets can curb food cravings. I'm going to talk to you when we get to the ear point. People have uh, low levels of serotonin, so serotonin stimulates the smooth muscle walls of the stomach. That, it's not just your happy endorphin, and that's super important. That's why you're going to learn this one point on the ear, but it also uh, just stimulates the smooth muscles of the stomach, and the wall tone uh, is also controlled by the vagus nerve. So you're going to learn about that. CV12, the C of nutritive energy. That's our first video up. Enjoy. It's Today I want to talk about a point on the conception vessel. Now you might have studied some acupressure, read some books, and seen it written that you have 12 meridians, channels, or as we say in Spanish, canales. And there's 12 on this side and the same 12 on this side. But there are two more, one that run down the back and one that runs up, Shh, I'm zipping myself up with my energy, right up the front. And it's REN or Conception Vessel CV is the abbreviation. So I want to talk about CV12. And the name of that point is the C of Nutritive Energy. You can use this point for many things. You can use it to wake yourself up because it helps with lethargy and fatigue, and it helps with things like vomiting, belching, basic digestive stuff. And also, it helps with muddled thinking. Really, it helps kind of wake up your brain. It goes right into the center of your digestive system and into your body. What I want to highlight today, though, is emotional eating because I teach this point in my Be Ever Slim workshops. I wrote a book called Acupressure for Weight, and this one is highlighted as a big number one. So um, I'm going to show you how to stimulate the point in a second. I just want to talk a little bit more about emotional eating. Sometimes you've had a very, very stressful day, or at any given moment you have some sort of trauma or emotional trauma, and you might feel this knot right here in the center of your stomach. So this point is very good for releasing that. It actually will release the muscles that are making you feel like you have a knot in your stomach. The other thing that happens to us is maybe we have um, a bad memory or we're thinking too much, we're wearing too much, and we're remembering when we just didn't live up to our own expectations, where we had feelings of low self-esteem, basically a feeling of emptiness. And a lot of times people go to the refrigerator and open up the freezer and take that half gallon of ice cream out and sit themselves down in front of the TV and devour the whole thing. Well, this point will help you not do that because it will take that feeling of emptiness away. So I tell people, do this before you eat and that will give you a sense of fullness in your system, but not with tension. So you won't be kind of just eating and eating and eating and eating and eating and eating to fill up that vacant space. So here is how you use this point. And you don't need to know exactly where it is. I'm going to show you a technique where you can use all of these eight fingers. First of all, you do locate it by putting your hand right in the center of your body and where your baby finger hits the navel, you just put your hand there and your index finger is where the point is. Again, you don't have to be exact because what I'm going to have you do is take the four fingers of each hand and put them right in the center of your stomach area so you're halfway between your navel and your breastbone. And what I'm going to have you do is take a deep breath in 
And now press in as you exhale. And you're going to find a hard spot. In fact, it might even hurt. And just hold there. And take a few more breaths in. Relaxing and releasing. Just hold on that hard spot. And you might find yourself belching. That's excess air coming out. And you'll release those muscles so you won't have the tension. You'll get a feeling of fullness as if you've already eaten so you don't have to fill it up. And just remember, you are worth it. Okay, so you learned about the sea of nutritive energy, how to find the point and all the wonderful things that it does for you. We're going to move on. Let me go back to the book. Again, we're going to do a little screen sharing here. There we go. And we were over here. Share. There we are. The next point we're going to go over is uh, stomach 13. Let me move my face up here. There we go. Stomach 13. Ah, this point does so many fun, cool things. But let me jump in here. Um, the point that you just learned, the sea of nutritive energy, this one and stomach 13, chi door, are points you want to utilize before you eat. It can both can help with uh, compulsive eating and uh, emotional eating. And it's better to do them before you eat. So maybe you won't shove so much in your mouth. Uh, there are three points for that that we're going to talk today. This is the second one. This is stomach 13. Rather than read anything from this book, we're just going to jump right to the video. So we're cutting off right now. When we come back, we'll learn one more point before going on to some more information on where to find things. Here we go. Up, down, in, out. I have no idea. So I got to tell you a little story. Yesterday, I had a really busy day. I was up at dawn and I did clients, or I, I saw clients off site, and I had some other appointments to do. So, come around noon, I was getting pretty hungry. But I didn't want to stop at a fast food joint and just drive through because that food just does not make me feel my best. So I knew it was going to be at least another hour before I got to put in good, wholesome food to fuel my body. And I was hungry. So I turned to my little mental magic kit of acupuncture points and I remembered a good one. And I, it's one I use for a couple of different things. It's called Stomach 13. Stomach is the meridian that that this point lays on and it starts up in the head and goes down to your feet. Now this point is fantastic for appetite suppression. That's right, you can stave off your hunger by using this acupressure point. And I'm gonna show you where it is in a second because I need to tell you about the other things that this point can do for you. I believe it staves off your hunger for various reasons. One is, it actually will enhance your sense of taste and smell. So when you do eat, you get more enjoyment from your food and you don't need to overeat. The other thing that it does is because it starts, the meridian starts on the head and goes down to the feet, it can open up your breathing in your chest. So if you, you've been feeling constricted breathing, this can just open that right on up. It also helps with your sinus and since the number one point on the stomach meridian is right up in here. So that can help you drain your sinuses. The other great thing that this does is it helps for keeping things up and in place in your body. That's right. As we age, things kind of sag. We know this, it's terrible, it's true. It happens. In fact, I teach this point in Be Ever Young, the Natural Non-Surgical Facelift Workshop, in order to try to lift up other parts of our body and our face. And of course, in the Relief at Your Fingertips Workshop, because that's what we're talking about today. So as we age, things kind of sag, and we'd like to keep them up in place. Not just on the outside of our body, but on the inside of our body, our viscera. Now, viscera is just kind of a technical word for, well, you got skin, you got bones, and then you got all that messy stuff inside the body that you need to contain, the organs and whatnot. 
So think about it. As you get old, things kind of settle. And you really need to keep things up and taut and in place. Not just with the exercise, but by using this point. You don't want to be a 95-year-old elderly person sitting in a rocking chair and the greatest entertainment you have during the day is talking to the fellow next to you about your bowel movements because everything's kind of settled and compacted. Also, if you've ever had surgery, they take something out, but they don't usually put anything back in. There's no placeholder in there, so your organs will start to settle. Okay? That's just the top of the list of what this point can help you prevent. So, are you ready? You're ready to find it? Okay, this is what you need to do. I want you to make a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And I want you to find your nipple line. That's right, you don't need to find them exactly because they may have fallen from gravity because you didn't know this point. But find a line, okay? And here's the line. You're going to slide your hands up until your thumb touches underneath your collarbone. Feel it? Okay, now you're going to rotate your hands like this and have your fingers touch the back of your neck. Now I'm showing you this so you can get the exact placement of where this point is and how to stimulate it. Now that you're there under the collarbone and you're next to the sternum, to your breastbone, you're going to press up into the bone and into the sternum. So you're pressing it at a 45 degree angle. Now, take a few long, slow, deep breaths in. Feel that chest opening. Feel that stomach area. Relaxing, so the tension of that hunger is just floating away. Relax and breathe. And there you go. Now I grew up in the Boston area and we had this character on kids shows called Major Mud. And he ended all his shows by doing this nifty little number. Okay, make a mask and <laughs> you say, I'll be blasting you. The next point I wanna go over is right over here. And it, I don't have a video for it, so I'm just gonna to have to show you with my pretty face on how to find this. This is called GV26 or do 26. It's middle of the person. It does some really super cool stuff. It's actually been used to revive animals, but that's with a veterinarian using a needle. Uh, it helps with compulsive eating. So I'm gonna switch back to the big face of me. There we go. And my hands are clean. I have washed them. If you don't have clean hands, you can locate this just on the outside of your body. But the reason why I need clean hands for this is I'm actually going to show you a method of stimulating this point, again, before you eat, that works pretty darn well. It gets right in there, middle of person. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and you're going to put it up underneath your top lip and you're going to take your index finger and find the point here and then you're going to take and massage the point. So here we go, up underneath <laughs> and here. So you're just massaging it back and forth. And this point helps wake up the brain and also helps with compulsive eating. Now, inevitably, I have someone in my seminars when I'm doing the weight loss seminars that will say, but Pat, of course I can't eat. I've got my fingers in my mouth. <laughs> I told you that we meant to be jovial about this. We're, we're cutting stress as well as helping out with acupuncture points, okay? So that point is right here. Great. So moving on, I want to take a little bit of a break and I wanna show you where you can find more information. And then we're gonna come back and we're going to learn two more acupuncture points that are super important. So I'm gonna screen share again, crossing fingers every time I do this. And we're gonna come up over here. So I should be sharing with you 
out of my Google Chrome. Here you go. So if you would like to have rebroadcasts, not of this whole thing, but of these specific videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel hasn't been added to for a little while, but you'll find things about hypnotherapy, guided imagery. This one over here, feeling good. This is a weight loss uh, hypnosis guided imagery. It's part of a course that I have online through Udemy or Udemy, and, uh, but it's there free for you. Uh, personal stories, background, intros. Let me get into, there we go. Please work, please work. This is all of them. There we go. We're changing screens now. Be patient. Say paciencia. Oh, Century Link is a bit slow today. <laughs> okay, here we go. The acupressure facelift, schlaggy, food combining, muscle testing, applied kinesiology, how to get rid of um, kinks in the shoulder. That video I talked about um, with Alvin, uh, Ambassador Alvin Adams is on here. Um, so that is my YouTube and it's under Patricia Gilmore if you wanna do the web search on that. And then also this is my blog. It's bebestblog.blogspot.com. Not under Patricia Gilmore, under that. And you can find a lot of stuff here. Now, of course, some people zone in on this one. Boost the libido, blow in my ear, and I will follow you anywhere. Quick fun story, because we're taking our little chill out break before learning two more points. You got to chunk this down. I learned as a professional speaker, if you chunk information, people remember it better than a long stream of one thing after another after another. All right, here's, yes, there are acupuncture points that can help boost the libido. Should I tell you about them? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story because things like this happen to me all the time when I'm out speaking. I'm in the um, Marriott in Newport Beach. No, sorry, I live in Newport Beach. Uh, Newport, Rhode Island, not California, Newport, Rhode Island. I'm at the Marriott Hotel and I'm speaking at a convention and I have about 500 people in the audience and they're kind of gruff contractors that were working for uh, a big project called The Big Dig in Massachusetts. It took forever. It's probably still happening. <laughs> and, at any rate, um, it was an interesting that they had me as speaker there, but it was really, really fun. So I'm dressed very nautical because it is Newport, Rhode Island. It's the home of sailing, right? And big mansions. So I'm in my navy blue Ralph Lauren suit, double-breasted, and a little turtleneck underneath, sleeveless. It's a pantsuit. And I'm up on stage, and I've got the hot lights blaring at me. And there is this fellow and his wife, and he rather gruffly chuckles when he hears that I'm showing you acupuncture points for various things, calming anxiety, blah, blah, blah. And I hear him say fairly loudly to his partner, who I'm going to assume is his wife, I wonder if she's got any acupuncture points for our libido. <laughs> I said, why not? I love to have fun with my audiences. So... He was right there in the front row. And I looked down at him and I said, so we have questions from the audience. This gentleman here would like to know if we have acupoints for the libido. Well, yeah, of course we do. And using this opportunity to have a wonderful dramatic um, insertion of silence dramatic point here, I start to unbutton my double-breasted jacket. Each button very slowly, and his wife screams, oh my god, she's gonna show us! I take off my jacket, I fold it in half, I place it over the chair that is near me on stage, and I said, yes, I am. The point is on the foot. Do you mind if I take off my shoes? <laughs> I'm not showing you these points today because we're working on calm, but we also want to have a little fun. And you know, sex sells. So there you go. I'm 
glasses are on, I'm going to come down and show you some more point information that you can find so much on my blog, even though I haven't put anything up. These points here, we're not going to talk about them. They're on the bottom of the feet. They help with water weight and edema. So you're going to learn how to use those if you get into this blog. The thing I'm going to tell you, this is for a, um, uh, a messed up neck when, you, when you're driving and you get this kink in your neck. Um, I'm not going to send you to my website because at the moment, for the first time since 1998, my website is without information. <clears throat> COVID and you know, the isolation didn't just make people put on pounds. It made be people stop and pause and think or not think, and maybe start reevaluating what's going on in their lives. So I needed to move one of my websites from the host that it was on. I'm a webmaster, but I'm not gonna talk about that stuff. Um, just Let's just say I needed to make a change on where my websites were being hosted. So I moved the getintonature.com site, which is my environmental art site. I moved that over to another host. And in doing so, I was able to add two more accounts. So I decided this is the time I'm going to move bebest.com over. And instead of moving this a massive site that had tons of information, I just moved the domain and I let all that information go. It's not gone. I have it in so many other places as well as I have all the content on my computer, but it's a blank website right now. It just has a way to get in touch with me. And also a disclaimer that I've had the, that name since 1998 and I've given no one else any permission to use it. Although some people are using it. Um, so don't go, don't go there. You won't find anything there. If you want information, go to bebestblog.blogspot.com. And look, you're gonna, you just went through that video, although I edited uh, the credits off uh, for this presentation, you just went through that. And that's the stress is dessert spelled backwards. We have cough suppression, bad backs, travel anxiety, nausea, there's laughter yoga. I mean, if you're part of, uh, been watching the virtual coffee and combos, that's my uh, friend and yoga, laughter yoga instructor, Robert Rivest. He was on several weeks ago. So why isn't this working? There we go. It's just a slow connection today. I'm sorry. So this is what you'll see when you get into bebestblog.blogspot.com. Again, the last entry was in 2015. I hadn't arrived to Florida yet. And it's about the acupressure facelift and my hypnosis stuff. But if you scroll down, you're going to find so much information for free. Oh, wow. Okay. Addiction, depression, pain, part one. We go, just go in and read this. It's, it's super cool. And we're going to, that's the last point we're going to learn today is this near gut point. But before we get there, we are going back to the book. Actually, we're not going to go to the book. We're going to go right to a video. We're going to go to a video. <sighs> Stomach 36. You'll hear the whole story in this next video. My schedule really has been insane, so I did something that I don't usually do. I ate lunch and I got right on the bike. Mistake. Not the best thing to do. Uh, what happens is I ended up with a stomach ache. So uh, what I'm going to show you is a great point for when you get a stomach ache. And it also helps with sinuses. And why? Because this point that I'm going to show you, it's called Stomach 36 starts up here right underneath your eyes so it will get to your sinuses and comes down the body and it will end at the second toe um, this point is a master point it's used in a lot of different treatments for acupuncture and because it goes through your digestive system the stomach meridian it uh, can take that uh, tension and the, 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 the gnawing uh, away from your stomach um, it's a great point to use. It's called leg three measure or three measure mile. And there's a legend to that. Um, 
Let me first show you where it is. Okay, put this down. The way you find it is there is an indentation here in your knee. So if you take your opposite hand, not the, the same hand as the same leg, but the opposite hand and you place it here, where your baby finger hits your leg is where the point is. Now you know you get the right one is because if you flex your foot back and forth like this, you will feel the tendon change there. And all you need to do is rub on it or hold on it for a little while and the tension will be gone from your stomach area and your stomach ache will fade away. Or the clogged sinuses will actually start to drain because it's a distal point on the same meridian that starts here. Now, why is it called, I'm just gonna work on it so I can get back on the bike as soon as possible. Why is it called leg three measure? That goes back about 5,000 years uh, in China the foot soldiers would walk, supposedly, for about three miles and then be given a chance to rest. And one of these rest periods would be for eating. So they would take their meal, whether it would be dumplings or whatever else they made up, and um, since they didn't need to get back on the road fairly soon, they would stimulate this point. And yes, it is on both legs. They'd stimulate this point and it helped them digest their food better so they actually have more energy because they're getting more nutrients from their food. So again, this is where you find it. I'm gonna use this side now. Take your hand, put it right there, right by the indentation in your knee is your index finger. And where your baby finger hits the outside of your leg, it's just about the spot. If you got a stomach ache, you can hunt around a little bit. Yep, that hurts right there, exactly. <laughs> Again, if you're not sure, lift your foot up and down, and it's where the tendon changes. Stomach 36. Wow, just during that last segment, the sun came up. It's up over Lake Griffin, and it's pouring in my window now. Yay, you can see me. Okay, so what have we learned? We've learned about the sea of nutritive energy right here in the middle of the body. We've learned about stomach 13, we've le learned about GV26, you just learned about a point on your leg. So the first three acupuncture points that you learned, acupressure points, because all you need is your thumb and light pressure. Please don't, the idea of no pain, no gain does not work when you're moving energy. It only makes your body tense and it makes everything stick. It's a very, very light touch that you use. So those three points you utilize before you eat. And then, and then you learn stomach 36 on your leg and that you utilize after you eat. Now, this point that we're gonna learn, it's the last point of the presentation, is the Nuragate point. Nuragate um, has to deal with pain. It's called Shen Men. And I'm gonna screen share, okay, always nervous about this. Let's see, we can go back to the book or we can go back to the blog. Let's just go back to the blog because I have that page up, because it's a good graphic. There we go. The Nuragate point. So, um, there's a 150 points or so on the ear alone you can treat the entire body through the ear with a type of acupuncture called auricular acupuncture. And that is another whole seminar, another whole course. Uh, just uh, know that you can, and we're not gonna waste time, and, and not that it would be wasted, but we're not gonna get into that. So Shen Men is right here where this red dot is. I'm gonna exit screen share now and go over to me, my chart. One of my favorite tools that I pass around in my workshops and seminars is my big ear. It makes finding this point much easier. I also have this ear chart, which is pretty darn cool. It doesn't show all 150 points, but there's some reflection here, so I may, may not be able to use this as much as I want to today because I can see now that the sun is up, it's reflecting off the glass or the plaster going from it. But I bring these when I, when I teach because they're really fun. So if you can see this, 
the artist that designed this put body parts in various spots, which is just seriously makes this a cool chart. So it was hanging in my offices. It was also at one point hanging at my home offices. And one day, looking at the reflection, one day I come home and my stepdaughter's in my home office where I see clients and she's with her boyfriend. I guess she had to be, let's see. Yeah, she was still in high school. I think she was a senior in high school. And I'm ready to yell at her because she's not supposed to be in my office because I keep that place just really neat as a pin. And she's not allowed on my computer, not my office computer, because I've got uh, client records and whatnot. Anyway, I'm, re I'm ready to, to yell at her or talk sternly to her. And she just looks at me and says, wait, wait. And she looks at the chart and she looks at her boyfriend. And then she looks at the chart and she looks at her boyfriend and then she looks at the chart and she says to her boyfriend drew how's your elbow now at that point i can't yell at her she's looking at this chart and she's saying drew just got a piercing in his ear right where the point is for the elbow <laughs> piercings will interrupt the energy uh, if it happens to be an acupuncture point Another class. All right. So Shen Men on this chart, because of the reflection, we're not going there, but it's up, up that way. I'm going to use the ear, my plastic ear instead. All right. Now, I would say find this on your own ear, but you might need a partner because the problem with trying to locate something on your own ear, unless you've got a Zoom camera like this, it's really hard to see in the mirror from the side of your eye looking full on your own ear. But this is where you find it. Do you see the differences in the contour of the ear? And not only the differences in the contour, but the coloration. They didn't put the coloration in here, but having the shadows will show you where the coloration is on a real human ear, okay? So we're not looking at any points around in here, and there are tons. We're looking for a point that is located right here. And if you're looking at your partner's ear or a picture of an ear, a true photograph of an ear, this area here is a darker tone than the rest of the ear. It, it tends to be more reddish. If you have light skin, if you have darker skin, it's just a darker mass. So it could be more brownish. It could be more red. It could be pink. And we're not talking big color blocks here. We're talking subtle changes in color. And that this spot tends to be similar to a triangle, okay? So the point is right here. Now, what I love about acupressure is you don't have to be exactly on the point. You can be pretty close because your finger is pretty darn fat compared to a little number two needle. So you can utilize this point by pinching your ear, okay? So here is mine. Right somewhere around here, you can pinch your ear and you can do that milking bit anyway. Why would you do that? This point, the nerget point, the pain point, boosts the serotonin, the good feeling endorphins in your body, the feel good endorphins. So, this point not only is used for discomfort, but emotional discomfort as well. So I use this, I don't do smoking cessation anymore. Don't call me. I am not in private practice right now. I'm only teaching seminars. But I would use it for smoking cessation. I use it with my weight loss clients because of uh, eating for emotional reasons, boredom, depression, the blues. Uh, for my panic clients, definitely. As a hypnotherapist, I, had, I blended the two together so that I had both body, mind, body and mind together, which of course affects the spirit. So, um, so a trick on how to use this. Now, if you had a toothpick, I mentioned that in um, another piece of the, the uh, little mini seminar I'm giving you. If you choose to use a toothpick to stimulate any of your ear points, you need to pound that 
my baby down because it's not acupuncture. You need to dull out the end of a toothpick. You don't want to draw blood, okay? It's acupressure. So you can use a toothpick. The other things that I use when I'm in my office or I have a little stash of my own, I'm almost out, is I use little stainless steel balls that are on sticky tape. Somebody's going to church Sunday. Um, so you can, you can use those. And now what happens if you don't have that? I like to keep things practical. Now, as the president of the Pan American uh, Whole Health Alliance, I brought expeditions into really poor places. And I would always try to give alternatives to tools. So there's no stores, there's no mail order, folks. So what I found when I was working in the jungles of Peru is quinoa. Not that I found it there, but I found it that, and it's accessible to people there uh, because there's boats going back and forth to the cities. But it's a, it's a great grain that at this point, you're not going to be cooking it for this use because you want it hard. And they're little tiny grains and they're hard. So you can easily tape them right on to Shen Men. Now, I'm not immune to crazy emotions and hysteria. I get stressed, but that tells me, is it what I'm thinking about or is it an imbalance of my energetic system? Is something stuck? Is that why I'm so pissed off? Or am I, is that why I am blue? I would use different points if I'm feeling angry, but in a nutshell, anger is stuck energy. It wants to move. It needs an outlet. So what happens is it wants to move, but there's an impedance. So you've got this heat that starts to build up because when you keep trying to move and you keep hitting a brick wall energetically, it creates friction. Friction creates heat. Heat rises in the body and it comes right out of your mouth. So we don't want that. You want a seminar on menopause, ladies? contact me. I still hire out to do professional speaking and it can save a lot of marriages. Um, but let's talk about the blues, which would, you would use this point for. So there are times where I would wake up and I would just feel bummed for no apparent reason. Everything is going fine in my life. So why am I feeling blue? And this is the grace of being a, a practitioner because I understand the body affects the mind. So rather than trying to put something into the stew that's not functioning properly, I'm not going to go for medication. I'm going to go for a body point and I'm going to go for this point. So I'll take some quinoa or, my, or my, my pellets and I'll place them right there on Shen Men. And usually before you even get to the second ear, I feel better. So this point is super important to learn. Again, it is right here. You can find the picture on my blog. You can look up Shen, S-H-E-N, space, men, M-E-N. Just Google it and you'll find a picture of the Nurgate point. Okay. I think I've come to the end of the presentation. If you have questions, just ask me. I'll send you where you can find more information. Again, I'm not practicing. And I don't plan on practicing. I'm, I'm really enjoying being the program director at the Leesburg Center for the Arts on a part-time basis. I'm here to enjoy Florida, to find some springs, to be out in nature, to make some environmental art, and to be helpful. So that's it. Share this. We all need this. Not just for the weight, but just for being better balanced and being able to cope better. Okay. Oh, one more thing. The Leesburg Center for the Arts. I'm talking as program director now. The Leesburg Center for the Arts needs your support. If you go to Leesburg Arts, you can look on our main menu and there is a give button. If you like this presentation and the other virtual coffee and combos, we want to keep programming going. We got lots of expenses, even though our building has been taken over by uh, Netflix, but that's not forever. So we need to always ask for donations and support and sponsorship. 
we have a couple of virtual programs going on. So if you're a company or an individual that'd like to sponsor virtual coffee and combos or the new show, Chill Art, which is, yep, from me, but on an artistic side. And that is helping people deal with their stress levels to stay healthy. Please contact Maria Stefanovich at directors, director at leesbergarts.com. And we're in this together. So let's make it good. Now, ciao for now. Common elements. I mean, there are all variety of techniques of Asian medicine, but do they all reflect certain common assumptions about the world or about the body or about the human, human beings that we are? Yes, it looks at things as energy, whether something is moving energetically or being stuck. Mm -hmm. The way I like to explain this in my workshops and in my seminars is this is the concept. Your body is the soup day. Mm. Okay? So you need electricity, which is the energy running in the rails to get the soup day cars from one point to another. Mm. These lines, whether it be the D line, the A line, the B line, those are the lines of energy running through the body. We call them channels, canales, or meridians. And along those meridians are acupuncture points. So think of that as being the stairway down into the soup day. Mm. So you've got the, um, you've got uh, Medrano, entrance. You've got Angel Palermo Pajano, entrance. Palermo. It's almost a one-way entrance. Try to go down with people coming up. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good point. Now, imagine if your energy is low. There wasn't enough, enough electricity mm. running in those rails to mm. get the cars going fast. Mm. Then you're going to start having a backup and a buildup. Or maybe there's no energy at all, and you're just standing there at the soup day stop with a bunch of other people waiting for your soup day car. What do now, I do? Well, you're going to get angry, right? I'm going to call you. <laughs> well, this is what happens with the body. If, the, if you don't have enough energy, if the chi isn't moving, the energy, then everything gets backed up. So where do you get the, where do you get the chi well, to get you going again? What you need to do is unstick the chi, and there's a lot of different methods. You can do that on the platform? <laughs> when you're feeling down? Look, we'll get back to that. We are uh, on uh, Urbana FM 89.5. You're listening to Al Adams on Rise and Shine. Saturday morning, favorite show. I know you are tuned in and you are listening and you're tempted to get out of bed. You probably haven't yet made it, but I bet somebody in the household has. I'm probably making coffee. Probably not you, Lazy Bones. But anyway, uh, this is uh, your favorite show, and we're talking about uh, complementary medicine. East and West. And we're talking with Pat Gilmore, who's uh, very familiar with these techniques. She's an author. She's an international lecturer, an active teacher, uh, and, uh, well, I guess an all-around expert on, uh, on uh, a a Asian uh, medical techniques.